Uh, what's up guys um thank you for the feedback on my last video uh it was amazing i'm glad you guys enjoyed it so as promised here is a, a tutorial of my zelda's lullaby arrangements and um i'm gonna like my other video was talk about the key it's in the chords and then techniques i'm using and I'm going to go over a simpler version, so if you're a newer player, hopefully you can follow along better with that. And then, uh, if you know the basics though, and especially the chords, then you can embellish and do what you want from there. So real quick, here's a playthrough, and then I'll talk about the chords after. And then uh, the specific instrumental part. That's it. Uh, I love this song. It's very relaxing. My, my dog falls asleep. Sometimes I'll play it for her. And she seems to enjoy it. Okay, so for the chords, um, the basic chords, you start with a C. Specifically a C, a C major 7. And then it goes to a D, a D major, but a little bit different kind of a modified D major. So C to D, it happens twice. This is a B, it's like a G major seven, but think of it as a B minor with an open G string. And it goes to uh, an A, an A major, it's a A seven. And then back to that C chord, and then back to D, D major. And that plays through twice. And then once you play it again, then for the next part, it's an F major chord. Back to C. And A minor. And then F again, C. This is a C major chord again, and then it ends on D major. Okay, so those are the chords, and then as for the instrumental part, I'll go through it part by part. Just a quick note, when I strum, uh, when I pick, uh, the way I pick my style is I anchor with my pinky, and then I have my thumb handle the G and C strings. And then my uh, index finger handles the E string and middle on the A string. And that'll change sometimes, but uh, generally that's what I use, that's what I rely on. And I'm going to play through a simpler version for you guys. So this part. So all it is. You start with the second of the A string, and you're strumming a C major seven chord. And then you slide from the second to the fifth, then you pluck, uh, pluck the A string. And then you play a D major chord, but play it this way, where you have an open G and A string, and you fret the second of the C and E strings, and you down strum. And then you open, open G, A, open G, open A, and play it again. Slide. And then that D chord again. And then you play this uh, G major 7 chord, but like I said before, it's kind of like a B minor chord with an open G string. So your bar, one finger, the second of the C, E, and A, 
open G string, and then you down strum. And then you keep that bar there, but you add your pinky on the fifth of the A string. And then you slide this whole chord shape up. If it's easier, you can just even bar all four strings. So you can slide the entire shape the way it is up the way you need to. So if I bar everything. And then you slide uh, however many frets. Um, a way to check though is that you want the pinky on the very last marked fret. In this case, I have my concert. So this is fret 12. And then I have my bar on fret uh, 11, 10, 9. And then you down strum. And then you also, uh, once you down strum, your pinky comes off and you replace that with your uh, ring finger on the 10th fret. So you slide this all the way up. And then 10th fret for the ring finger. And then So that's the full, uh, fifth, and then third, second, and all open strings. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and then not open strings, but um, that D, that uh, D chord again. Okay. So again, real quick, that second, uh, that uh, sequence again is slide to the fifth, and then that D chord. Open G, open A, C major 7, flat of the 5th, D, and then here's that bar, then 5th, slide it all the way up, and then 5th, 3rd, 2nd, and then D. And then, so you play that twice, and then this part... So you start with uh, an F, but an F with an open G string, and then I fret the uh, first of the E, and the pinky is on the fifth of the A. So a down strum, and then and then third, second, third, seconds, open G. What you can do is, and then here you can play just a C major chord, and then second, open G. So F, C major, and then goes to an A minor, A minor, but then you also have the ring on the third of the uh, A string. Down strum, and then keep your index finger there, and then Seconds, open. So second, open, seconds, and then open E. So A minor. And then you play uh, C major seven. So F, C, A minor, C. the F again, C, open G, then fifth of the A, and then you have the tenth of the A, this down strum, this is technically a C chord, C major, and it ends on D major. So here's that part again, F, C, a minor, C, oops, and then F, 
C, C, C major, 10th fret, and you finish on a D major chord, where you bar the second and you fret the fifth of the A. And then, then the song will repeat itself and it keep, keeps on going and going. So hopefully this helps. Um, again, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. If you have any requests for other songs I can do, just let me know. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know below and uh, keep playing, keep practicing, and have fun.